Saturday, December 23rd, St. John of Canty. Focus. And he spoke, blessing God. During the nine months of Zechariah's enforced silence, he was being purified, and his faith in the Lord deepened. When he decided to do the will of God and name his son John against the tradition of his ancestors, God had mercy on him. His voice returned and he blessed God. God's blessings are bestowed abundantly on us whenever we acknowledge His greatness and praise Him, especially if we trust Him in adverse situations, be they moments of worry or trouble or pain, and even more in times of spiritual dryness or emptiness, when we feel His absence in our lives keenly, yet persevere in prayer. We praise those whom we love and they feel good. Will not praise give our Heavenly Father even more joy? It is a prayer of praise that emanates from his beloved children's hearts and mouths, which he loves the most. That is why many miracles happen in the lives of people who praise God from the heart, and in turn, he blesses them. The gift of blessing comes from God, and curses come from the evil one. Hence, as children of God, we should let go of anger, envy, and unforgiveness. We should bless and thank God for everyone and everything, food, clothing, shelter, job, family, etc. We should bless, not curse, even our enemies. This glorifies and pleases God. Fruit I shall forever bless God and give Him glory.